right guys so I haven't posted in a while didn't think anybody would be interested but the car is done and has been I did make it to import Alliance in Atlanta the car drove there with no issues all the suspensions back in and the motor runs like a top as always also finished the big brake setup I got asked a lot of questions about that if anybody has any any questions about it to shoot me a message or comment below but all in all it got done retrofitted headlights custom one-off grill that I made now I do have my factory daily bumper because unfortunately um, I did go to Eibach in Orlando as well and when I taped up the bumper it pulled the paint off so now I've been pulling the rest of the paint off and I'll have to repaint the bumper so that my uh, I guess you can call it track setup can go back on the car and it can look aggressive again but I don't mind it because it allows me to go in and out of driveways no problem since the car is functional height so other than that I did get a racing seat but I told you guys I was going to purchase one purchase a buddy club wide um, just because that's the one that fits me it has full Sparco from the bottom up uh, as well as my quick release setup which the buttons about to fall out so that's pretty everything matches there and I did uh, paint a seat for my lady which once I get her Civic up and going again I won't need a passenger seat uh, no carpets as usual put the bar back there other than all, she's not doing too bad. I did have some issues with some paint chipping here and there. Like I said, with the bumper and whatnot. And also back here, it chipped. Don't know why this one chipped, but it is what it is. Not a show car anyways. Um, and also got to paint the roof, which I still haven't gotten to. But other than that, put the dash back in. Got my shifter set up here. Battery. I'm just going to make some block off plates for everything on the dash. And made a custom holder for the ECU. Which is kind of dope. It's just almost like a factory plate, but you know, that ain't going nowhere. Um, I did throw up the idea of putting carpet back in it and just running no back seats. But I don't know how I feel about it yet. Just because my original carpet was gray, painted black. And when it gets any kind of wet, the dye lifts up because the dye I used before just didn't last and I tried another dye and that's not working as well other than that she's in there and it runs and drives I will be doing some kind of video maybe doing some pulls or some uh, some drive-bys and whatnot but uh, also been tossing up the idea of building the Civic or a, another Civic because I don't know if I want to build the specific one. It's automatic. It's uh needs some work with the brake lines. I'd rather just get one that doesn't have any issues right now. That way I can get straight into build. So if you guys want to see something like that, or you want to see more with the cord, because uh I just been looking for more power. I've had this motor for about three years now, and as much as it made two, two is kind of getting boring now. So I want to get maybe a little more power out of it and be able to compete a little bit better. Not that it's slow, it's just that I'm getting bored of it. So it's either going to be Civic with a K-Series, um, which is definitely doable because there's so much aftermarket support. Or uh, either part this out and do another build or go K-Series in this, but I feel like I'll get bored again with it so it might go in a civic who knows but definitely like share subscribe all that stuff helps and uh if you guys have any questions or even commentary just go down below and leave something for me thanks